So, um, okay. Uh, level with you guys. Um, CSGO, I had a, I had a, a moment when we were playing CSGO with uh, the community one day. Mm. You having a moment? No. Well, okay. You had a moment in the middle of that last video. Well, hey, Ben? <laughs> was it legitimate, though? I mean, yeah. Of course. Doesn't so, mean you didn't have a moment. <laughs> well, if the moment is legitimate, is it really a I moment? I think he had a worse it? moment with CSGO, though, from what he's told me about it. Well, this, okay. Yeah, that's fair. What happened was... What happened I'm was... No, I, know, I know the people that we were playing with. I'm not going to name names. You know who you are. Um, you know who you are, you fuckers. They <laughs> started... A, the, here's the thing. We were on a map, and they started specifically targeting me. <laughs> and not only were they targeting me, but they were specifically targeting me by knifing me and setting me back again and again and again and again. And anyway, I don't know if they did it just to piss me off, but after the match was over, they say, okay, okay, Nate, okay, Nate, we're not going to knife you anymore. And I'm like, no, no. I mean, I want you all to be honest and, like, try and knife me, but at the same time, and you're you just... Know, just like, don't specifically target me. And well, then, you heard, then, man. Time for no, knifing. No, 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 no. And here's the thing: they didn't listen. They they said they said oh they said oh no no Nate we'll take it easy we'll take it easy on everybody everybody you know just don't don't shoot at Nate you know don't shoot at Nate you know let him let him you know let him have this and have that and I'm just like okay I go up I close the game I close Discord and I shut off the computer and I go to bed because <laughs> like, I'm because not. because here's the thing. I don't mind getting the shit kicked out of me, all right? I've already had that happen to me plenty of times in my regular life. The one thing I can't stand is being patronized. I hate being patronized, and I hate, be, you know, having people make me feel like, you know, oh, you know, you deserve special treatment, you deserve this, and you deserve that, la da 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 I hate that. I friggin' hate that. It It's like, it, the, the fact that it, it stooped to that level, and they did it willingly. It's just like, well, okay, I'm done tonight. Have a good one, everybody. And it's just like, you know what? I'm out. This wasn't on stream, was it? Yes, it was. Fuck. But my little, but my little thing at the end was cut off because I shut the stream off so fast. Because mm -hmm. I remembered, I was just like, no, guys, don't. And then it cuts to it cuts out right there. I shut off. I shut off the stream. I shut off the stream. I shut off CS:GO, and I shut off. I shut the computer down, and I'm done. I was done for the night. So yeah, that was that was a very a very jarring moment for me. I was having fun up until you know they started being dinguses. Hmm. You know, I was actually I, was, I actually in gun game in the gun game we were playing. I came in. Uh, I I didn't win, but I came in second one game. I I lost by one kill, and in the other games I never finished outside of the top outside of the top five out of like a group of a group of I think it was twelve or fifteen. Yeah, that's so, not bad. Yeah, I was I was doing all right. I was happy. It's just, eh, what are you gonna do? Like what you described with uh, CS Go is every time I've ever played CS Source. Okay. So, uh, yeah, guess who doesn't play Counter-Strike anymore? It's me. This guy. I'm up for playing more CSGO. It's just... just don't I don't dicks. play Counter-Strike anymore just because I've since played other shooters that feel better and feel and more fun you. to play. Right. <laughs> and hopefully here soon, me and Nick will uh, be getting into some uh, COD 4 Black Ops. So Ooh, we can... Uh, COD Blops 4? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, do Blackout mode and all that. See if we can't get my cousin Zach involved, too. Cause yes, like, He's wanting to talk about that. I don't know if I can describe this accurately, but there's something about Counter-Strike that it feels like everyone is on ice skates. No, even no, though they even though they don't slide when they slide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Sort of slidey. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. It's, like everybody is complaint. gliding on an air hockey table. Well, basically. I had the same complaint <laughs> like, about uh, about uh, Portal. You know, the movement was a little too smooth on that, but at the mm. same time, it had to be because of the mechanics. Portal's yeah. fine though, because Portal's. Yeah, like, I'm not trying to get immersed in Portal the same way as I am like a first person shooter. Fair enough. Um, fair enough. But yeah, like I don't know. It's just like I've played other games that make me feel more like I'm actually like, let's get this motherfuckers. Yeah, let's yeah. go fast. Like, <laughs> like you, yeah, you and just feel like Counter Strike never felt like that to me for some reason. Fair like, enough. It's so. it's the difference between playing as Mario and playing as Luigi. Fair enough. 
because Luigi is just that little bit more slidey. A little more gliding, Ooh. but he can jump higher. And Not exactly. It's like, yeah. it's like, I, what I'm trying to uh, describe is more like Counter Strike's camera is more like you're not seeing something from your eyeballs. It's more like you're seeing a camera shot from a moving rail when you move. Well, it's that, it's oh, too smooth. Well, it's an ultra steady cam, effectively on the head, whereas mm-hmm. in other games like the movement. Well, yeah, right, it's like you're seeing it from a speaking, GoPro, and that, it's not like, like you're taking steps and running. Realistically you know, speaking, it's like it's you're on just the like chest, but same thing. It feels like you're a ghost, and you're just like. Yeah, because in order to be able to see your hands, the camera has to be mounted on the chest. Yeah, yeah. So okay. Anyway, we have the uh, we have uh, fits. We have some when sort of idiots fitsman. play CS:GO too. Uh, I saw this one and the third one mentioned a lot, but not the first one. Didn't, didn't also, people sort of recommend not to watch the first one? I like I guess, Iron I Sights. So. What now? I like Iron Sights. And uh, well, well, back when I played CS Source, I don't think they ever had iron sights in it. So. No, they had optics. Yeah, I'd since then played stuff that had the, you know iron sights, and I'm just like, I like these shooters better. So <laughs> I just haven't played Counter Strike since then. Yeah, Counter Strike's oh, great. I like them. All right, so uh, here we go. All let's right. get the video. Give on it to Beep Boops, and let's give it a watch. You guys ever swam in a pool with a woman and then had sex with her uh, later? And, uh, and but the thing is, swag. Yeah, what the? F- the thing is, you're in the bathroom after you get out of the cold water, and, and your dick looks like a, like a shrimp that isn't cooked. So, so wait, wait, isn't like a oddly that specific isn't there. Than a shrimp that is cooked. Yeah, but it's also blue. Yeah. <laughs> My main problem is that at no point could I actually be like no <laughs> to anything he was saying. <laughs> So I was just like, it's not funny because it's too accurate. What? You can't pause it, John. It's 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 going right now. What? <laughs> what? John. Fitz, I have been swindled. Swindled hell, man. What's what's up? I have seen this video before. Oh, aren't you a fucking bright bugger? <laughs> yes, yes I am, and I know for a fact that I have seen this video before. Yeah, well, well you, you saw, saw it yesterday, yesterday probably. I've, I've had to re-upload it because it got age-restricted, man. Age-restricted? Yeah, so a bunch of people couldn't watch it. I'm hoping that it doesn't happen this time, but God only knows, John. I'm terribly worried. This video being age-restricted? Can you believe that? My, my content is nothing but family-friendly. What is this, naked yoga? <laughs> no, not, no, well, I hope not. <laughs> Jesus. You want to see that? Or it's a woman breastfeeding her child. Actually, a woman has actually had her channel banned because of that. It's been a very stressful week for me. Uh-huh. I need a cope. I need to sit back, relax, play some video games, and smoke. You play, yeah, yeah, you, you literally, literally play, play video games for money. Like, <laughs> that's not all I do. You don't know my life. You don't know if I'm a male prostitute, and if I... Uh, Are you, you know, a male prostitute? Yeah, hey, I didn't say that. Well, <laughs> you implied it. By saying that, why would you bring that up randomly? Well, what are you talking about randomly? It was it was completely fitting for the conversation, you know. Well, you don't know if I'm a male prostitute. You don't know if I'm making money on the side, being a being a being a sweet black woman's little uh, boy toy. <laughs> Swagger, you know? what are you trying to tell us? <laughs> Damn swag! <laughs> no, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> Those are uh, well, you're using awesome. awfully specific, specific uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Fat black woman. You know what? <laughs> Not fat, you know, thick. Tell, tell Swagger that he's an thick. amazing person. Thank you, classical Bluetooth. Someone also said, tell Smitty that I love him and he is the best CSGO player I've ever seen. Well, and he's about to prove them right with this. Oh, hands gone. <laughs> Bye, Smitty. <laughs> Good one. Oh, no. What the fuck? <laughs> Ainsley, you had the drop on him! He's up the ladder, Ainsley. Don't worry about it. He's, he's, he's right there. Yeah. Ainsley. Not very good. The shit! Look at the profile picture up top. Wait, what? Look at the top of the profile. Not very good. What the hell? He's like boxed in there. Like, like, he's, pushed, like he's pushed up against some glass. <laughs> Sensitive word and, and, and people 
are just like, yo, that's that's wrong. Looks like it's all down to Jinxie boy in a one D no, I can't freaking hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. You stupid fucking voice. <laughs> you take your thumb, you face your throat, you push down and up, and then you talk. <laughs> Dang, Dick, I didn't know you were in this. Uh, for a second, I, I can do that without using my thumb on my throat. Let's go, everybody. <laughs> Just push down and keep it there for a while so you stop breathing. You should have breathed. I need a cracker. 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 Oh no. Zell down to Fitzy, the man with the mustache and the plan, whose first name just so happens to be Cam. Going up the stairs, he's got a scout. He takes him a little bit. Gonna go in with a USP, and <laughs> he's got the first and the second as well. Looks like a team kill has helped Fitzy just a tad. He gets the shot, throws out the smoke, and he clutches the fucking round. I've been ranked! Oh, I must confess, I haven't, I haven't been in <laughs> 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 Instant <laughs> for rape. I, uh, I was killed in a video game. Well, let's get a little doo wop going. Bum 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 Stop that. Keep going. Yo. Yeah. Yo, it's the real MCSWAG. No. Honestly, the best on the scene. Too mean when I roll up on the scene. Killing bitches left and right. Honestly, you see, I am the prodigy. I'm the bottom out of these. Man, we're. Uh... <laughs> oh boy, I've been at this a while. That was fucking nuts. That was a bad. That was like too many teeth. Too many. Yeah, man, I was gonna say unless that unless that bitch takes out of the dentures, it's no good. Oh Jesus, John, what the? Wow. What is that? That is the most fucked up shit. <laughs> or what's <much> younger? <laughs> just John like chiming in. People oh, oh, yeah. are just like ridiculous, but this, this is, is just how we are all the time. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. I'm not happy. Other <laughs> 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 people happy makes me sad. Gee, I really miss my mom and dad. <laughs> Wow! Fair, the odd parents. Flapping <laughs> wings and fairy things and chocolate, chocolate shakes. 
Yeah. Pussy and shit. <laughs> please. You guys don't know the Cosmo, of the uh, Nickelodeon Fairly Odd Parents theme song. Odd Parents. Fairly Odd Parents. Fairly Odd Pete Pod. Bum Pod. Hot Dog. This is just the worst. This is not. I wish. Ob 2 from Moose. Green Goose. Green Goose. Squabbages. Giant Snake. Green Moose. Green. Oh, Green Moose. Sorry. Green Moose. I know all the words to very few opening straight theme songs that I can think of. Just a straight guy living a straight life. One of the easiest ones that I can think of is, is like, I think it's time we got everybody together. Okay, three, two, one, let's change. <laughs> That's an easy one. Or, you know. <laughs> one, two, three! Mercy! Do the monkey with me! Like, Come on! Hey there, baby! <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> I've seen it. I made him do it. He cried. <laughs> he <laughs> says. sucks too much dick and ingests all of the semen, will she eventually have so much testosterone in her system that she will start transitioning into a man? Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's not how that works. <laughs> 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 He did suck a lot of dick, no doubt. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what are the chances that I find with game with you guys? I'm actually going to poo myself. Not in a weird way, just excited way. What do you mean? <laughs> you, know, you can be excited but weird at the same time. Like if I was, if I was in bed with, say, like, Kate Upton, right? And, and uh -huh. I, I got, it was getting a little freaky, like you started taking out the belts. Mm -hmm. I'd kind of be excited. I'd be okay. You know? <laughs> but it'd be weird at the same time. That's super uncomfortable. Do I like it? I like crusties. I like crusties. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. The only thing funny about this is your, is your muffled laugh. Oh, gross. <laughs> Can you guys name uh, three things that aren't Jackie Chan? Banana, walrus, Jackie Chan. Fuck. <laughs> nice try, Swagger. Nice try. Right, that one was good. No, you got close. Nice try, Swagger. You got nice close. Try. Yeah, he almost made it. He named three things that aren't Jackie Chan. Okay, bananas, walrus. Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan. Shit. <laughs> uh, Can you name three things that aren't Jackie Chan? Uh, yeah. Um, um, Jet Li, Bruce Lee, um, Steven Skull. Damn it. I was about to say Chuck North. Jean Claude Van Damme. Or. Jean Claude Van Damme Dr. is back Dolph in the same crap you've seen Lundgren. over and over and over again. <laughs> Dr. Dolph Lundgren. I miss Heather being in recordings. Why is that? Because then she had somebody to commiserate with. <laughs> yeah. well, so you could just look over at her, and she just look over at you and just go, <laughs> I'm a man. <laughs> whenever, whenever you guys start acting stupid, we just like... And I'm like, I'm sorry you live here. I'm sorry, when we, when we start acting stupid, I don't know what you mean by that. I mean, honestly, it just doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, it's not like, it's not like, it's. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I mean, really, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> not for a fucking second. <laughs> <clears throat> right? Oh, oh that sound. <laughs> It freaks Mike out real bad. Mike, again, Mike is just like, nope, nope. He yeah. has to stand up and leave. <laughs> it's a weird noise. That's like the... Um, it's a weird noise. Remember I told you about uh, Jeeves? Mm -hmm. That was essentially... He didn't do that, but uh, the, whenever they <laughs> talked about Jeeves, Mr. Hurley made a noise kind of like that. Woodblock with your cheeks.
No, my luck, Mr. Hurley. This after Mr. discussion Stone got real, this, so real stupid like, real fast, did it? <laughs> hey, we just watched a Fitz video. This is the norm. I guess so. <laughs> this one was actually pretty funny to me. <laughs> to everybody saying that I'm so easily offended. Why is she he- like she's so easily offended? Why is she here? Because she's Mrs. Incredible. God damn it. Anyway, uh, <laughs> she does I, what she wants. Fuck look, Thor I'm, time. I'm gonna be real with y'all. Some of this stuff is funny, but most of it's not. To you, yeah. To me, that's that's the key. Yeah, I. <laughs> yeah, you can you can do whatever. I don't. It, it's grown on me since I've started watching it, and also since like the first time I watched it, it was kind of one of those things where it's like. Am I allowed to laugh at this on YouTube, or are people going to be like, that guy's a fucking asshole for laughing at that kind of humor? And then, like, everybody in the comments is like, oh, you're offended. And I'm like, no, I just didn't want to get in trouble. It's like, so. Well, now that I know nobody cares, I'm just like, ah, that's fucking funny right there. Yeah, don't be afraid. <laughs> don't be afraid to laugh. Don't, if you find something funny, don't be afraid. As Tony Clifton said, I don't care if I offend the entire world. If I've made one person laugh, I've done my fucking job. <laughs> And yeah. Tony Clifton, that was uh, Andy Kaufman. <laughs> Andy Kaufman who said that. Because there's this whole thing nowadays with, like, comedy, and they're like, oh, you're not allowed to make jokes at certain people's expense. You can be smarter than that, and stuff like that. And uh, like, I, I've always been under the opinion, I'm like, nothing expense. is sacred. I, I've always been, like, I always make jokes at my own expense. It's just like... Yeah, so people, do we. Well, yeah, it's just, it's just like, it's just like, you know... Whenever I work out, I always got to ask myself the question: Does my does my sweat taste salty or syrupy? Gross. Yeah, it's a gross <laughs> idea. Mm. Yeah, and then and then eventually I look in the mirror and I and I ask myself, God, who the fuck is that fat guy working on? The- oh, it's me. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, what was the yeah, name? And then of- and also whenever I walk in the room, it sounds different. It's like the floor's <laughs> under a lot of tension. It's like looking up at me, going. Good God, what have you done to yourself this time? Oh, no. It's like, have you put on an extra 400 pounds, fat ass? I mean, look, there's a reason I shower with the lights off. Even I don't want to see this. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> there's and there's a reason why I... Really... You want to know the saddest part of that? It's what? true. And honestly, I did not need to know that. I don't <laughs> like knowing your shower habits, even though you <laughs> like telling us about it on an avid basis. Me, well, on the other hand, I'll tell you my shower technique. I get in, I wash, I get out, that's it. Good night. <laughs> what was the name of that uh, comedian with the like uh, Starbucks <laughs> stories that just makes fun of everybody? Chris Porter? Chris Porter, yeah. Yeah. So he's like, um, yeah, I go to Starbucks every morning, and it's like sometimes you get behind the new people in line, and you know, they're standing there, and they're like, what the fuck's macchiato? And it's like... <laughs> I don't know. Why the fuck you asking me? I don't work here. It's coffee. Pick an Italian word and a size and move to the left. <laughs> it's like some of us are, uh, you know, here and we're kind of fiending a little bit. We kind of need you to get the fuck out of our way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's pretty funny. One of my favorite things is almost like a sort of his own version, his own take on like Here's Your Sign by uh, Bill Ingle. Bill Ingle, yeah. But he's just talking about um, <clears throat> some people like, just say stuff that he's like, are you shitting me? When they like ask him, you know? so he's talking about this lady once and he's like, excuse me, is that the elevator? And he's just like, you no. shitting me? What do you think? It's some kind of like magical doors. You think people are just going in there and disappearing? <laughs> it's like, I don't think so. Like, it, yeah, for me, for me, I've actually had a moment like that. I had, um, Oh, it, no. it was Chad. He was drunk one night. <laughs> oh, of course, it's Chad. He, well, he was drunk one night, of and he it's Chad. and he points. You, he what like do you expect? he uh, he hadn't seen my car. He hadn't seen my. Uh, it was back when I had my Kia Soul, and uh, I pull up, and I'm in the driver's seat. And my hands are on the steering wheel. I roll the window down. He's like, "Hey, Nate, is this your car?" <laughs> no. I look at him. I look at him and I say, "No, I stole it from my gay cousin Chris." Beep beep, motherfucker. Oh, he also says uh, they need to give lawyers an "Are you shitting me?" defense for when people do stupid ass things and try to sue people for it. It's like lawyer walks into court and he's like, <clears throat> "He's like this dude skied off his fucking roof, and now you're suing me because I make skis." You shitting me? No, no, no. <laughs> I, like, I can would we like move that. On? I would like that. It's just like, um, this man here has carpal tunnel because he masturbated to Hustler magazine too much and is now suing Hustler. 
<laughs> are you shitting me? Yeah, are you shitting me? <laughs> and it's like, okay. You know, I'd like to think that there's some sort of common, like, common sense defense. I don't... No, mm. there isn't. There should be. Common sense is lost upon the on the masses. Common I, sense... You know, when common sense goes out the window, it's when people throw their phones in the toilet just to see if they're waterproof because they saw a fake a fake bit of a uh, bit of news from an Apple outlet that said, "Hey, the new update to iOS 8 will make your phone waterproof <laughs> without a case." It's like uh don't forget to um what was it? It's like to get traction in the winter, try driving nails into your tires. <laughs> And then, so, uh, and then another one, shit another like one, that. And another one that was done to uh, to Apple fil- Apple phones. It's like, hey, did you know that um, you can now charge your iPhone with uh, by putting it in the microwave? And people did it. And people tried to sue Apple all because of some fake mm-hmm. news they they saw on the internet. It's like, like it's I've, not Apple's fault that you're a dumbass. In fact, like I've told people a nowadays. Legal definition for common sense. What is it? Uh. Sound practical judgment. That degree of intelligence and reason as exercised upon the relations of persons and things in the ordinary affairs of life, which is possessed by the generality of mankind. That's Mm. where you lost me. uh, And which would suffice to direct the conduct and actions of the individual in a manner to agree with the behavior of ordinary persons. So, Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, there is actually a common sense set up in law and i think that sort of gets some of these things yeah out. um mm. they, they, it's kind of like case law with uh police <clears throat> officers and stuff it's basically case law sort of like wh- when would it be common sense for someone to actually use like lethal force and stuff like that like but, fair enough um uh, there's yeah. two observations i have about the world essentially nowadays and they both concerning stupid people <laughs> oh boy <laughs> um, here we go Bring one on. is there are people who are only alive today because it is illegal to murder them and two, there are people who are only alive because our current system of society, such as hospitals and medical care, will save stupid people. And that's like people like this woman that I read about on Facebook recently who decided it would be a good idea to pet a venomous pit viper out in the wild. Um, and she's still alive because we have hospitals to save her dumbass. <laughs> so basically, hospitals, to an extent, are good because they save people from things they don't have any control over. But they also subvert Darwinism, and therefore make us as a species grow dumber over time. It's the same thing with idiot. It's the same argument that they had in Idiocracy. You know, you have one one family who has the IQ of a fence post, and they reproduce like pigs. Yeah. Whereas, well, they're not smart enough to use condoms. That's the thing. Yeah. And, uh, Smart yeah, people Cleavon, use Cleavon. contraception. Cleavon was the name of the was the name of the the male who was like really stupid in that movie. He's like he, he's like, oh shit, you're pregnant again? I thought you was on the pill. No, when have I ever said I'm on the pill? Oh, that must have been Janet. It's like, <laughs> what the hell are you doing with Janet? And turns out he had like four baby mamas and all that. Mm. And then his son, who was even more stupid. Was just like it was just like I'm gonna fuck all of them cheerleaders over there. Whee! Yeah. And uh, then you had Cleavon, unfortunately, almost lost his penis in a uh, terrible ski skiing accident, or not not jet skiing accident when he tried to jump <laughs> it out of his pool over his house. Thankfully, though, due to modern technology, we are able to save his penis and his reproduct and his reproduct and his uh, ability to reproduce. Thankfully. Yes. And thus, uh, his family tree kept expanding, and the two people who actually had good IQs and actually were very well, you know, very well off and everything, instead, um, they waited too long, the husband died, and the wife uh, had her eggs frozen. (laughs) So, yeah. Statement. We should record videos of uh, us reacting... To the Darwin Awards. I've heard about them. I'm worried that I might see some of my relatives in there. It's basically like just the epic fail type yes. compilations. Um, 
In order to receive a Darwin Award, you must die under particularly stupid circumstances. Basically, are, people that rolled hella ones in a row <laughs> and died as a result like, in there their are life. Honorary Darwin Awards, <laughs> where you are only uh, you only lose the ability to reproduce. <clears throat> yeah. Yep. <laughs> you don't die. You just lose the but ability you, to. You can't make more life. Okay. Fair so, enough. all right. So it's kind of like the dumber version of a hundred ways to die. Oh, it's like some of the ways on a hundred ways to oh, die thousand, are pretty. Thousand a thousand ways to die are pretty yeah. dumb, but like it's like all of them were dumb. <laughs> Except for the first one. Number one was actually really fucking awesome. But on a thousand ways to die or on the Darwin Awards. No, on a thousand ways to die. Well, yeah, I'm talking about the dumber. The Darwin Awards are like all dumb. Okay. Like that's the point of those. The, it's like uh, it's uh, all well, really dumb shit people did to get this, themselves killed. A thousand ways to die. Some of them were pretty epic, but yeah. the but Ron Perlman, Ron Perlman, when he was doing the voiceover work for it, he was just like, "Why is this like down here in the list? This would be my number one way to go out right here." <laughs> yeah. And it was uh, him going out. It was uh, two people in Japan had sex so much over a span of three days they died from exhaustion. Yeah, I was just like, "Count me in." <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, we've gone on way too long in this video. We hope you have enjoyed what you've seen here. And if you want to see the original video, link is always in the description down below. And until next time, we'll see you later, everybody. Peace out.